Hey guys, Ogi Sanchez and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and have I got a massive one for you guys today. Lost Ark is getting a ginormous patch tomorrow. Wield the Storm with the Aeromancer, a Karn coming. There's quality life, what do you call them, quality life changes. There's tier 1 and 2 being nerfed into like a solo tier. There's so much stuff coming. It is a ginormous patch. I believe it's like over 70 or 80 pages or something of theirs on the actual patch notes for the developers. They did do this little video over here in the background. You can see there with patch notes with Henry, hardcore Henry from the community. If you guys know him, who works at Amazon and he covers it as well. So in this video, I've made my little write up of everything important. I'm going to give you guys a little rundown over here. The TLDR pretty much. You can go through this at the beginning. And then if you want to stick with me through the whole video, we're just going to skim through everything. I will have both of these linked down below in the description as well as in my discord for this to come check it out. So without further ado, let's just hop into it because there's a lot of stuff coming. A current Legion Raid is coming. Normal and Hard Mode will both be releasing at the same time. 1580 and 1600 to get inside of them. Practice Mode will be at 1500. And this brings the upper level Ancient Gear. So it will make honing a little bit easier from 1580 to 1600. As well as a soft reset with the materials. Because obviously you will be getting new materials from the new Chaos Dungeons and from a current Legion Raid. So that usually means the other previous materials will go down in price. But we'll see how that all goes. We're getting the new Sonovel Guardian Raid. 1580 will drop new materials with a soft reset. And also has a legendary Gale Wind Ruin. So we can get two legendary Gale Winds now. That will be the second one get from Sonovel. Aeromance will be added. She's got two really good builds. Spec or Swift. I'm probably going to try the Swiftness one myself. As uh, this is like the main reason I'm really coming back to Lost Ark so to say. I never quit. I've just been doing a lot of Diablo stuff on the side. So now we're going to come back and play a little bit more Lost Ark. With Aeromancer being an interest of mine. As you see there, yes, I will be making one. Super Makoko Express. Quickly get a character up to 1540. You will get higher level gems at level... I think at 1580, you end up with some level 8s. And then at 1540, you end up with some level 7s. We didn't get the exact... You know, how this new one works from there. But I know there's a lot of Korean content creators that have the 1541 like fully explained in their videos because they have got it over at Korea before as well as 5x3 engraving and this will last until November 15th that's the engraving help so you can actually fully build her out and try out all the way until November 15th that's quite a long time to be able to build her up and we get the new chaos dungeons 1580 and 1600 you must complete the quest breaking the cage from Algarcia I haven't actually gone back I don't think I've done this myself I would have to go now after this video and do it on my Sork. Although my Sork is my only character at 1580. So that's the only one I'll be doing the new Chaos Dungeons on. There is daily activities changing. So new Chaos, the Chaos Dungeon monsters will aggro faster to you. New card drops from Chaos Dungeons. New rewards added to Chaos Dungeons. The Fate Embers. We'll get a little bit more into that. Only have to do one Guiding Raid per day as well for double rewards. So pretty much doing one Guiding Raid is going to be the same as doing two Guiding Raids back today. Now all they need to do is add that to Chaos Dungeons and we'll be golden. We're getting Fate Embers, gives random bonus rewards from Silver, Gold, Guard, XP and more. There's a bunch of other things as well in the patch notes. And then we're getting obviously the Tier 1 and Tier 2 rework. They will be combining them into like a solo tier. I don't even think it's going to be called a tier anymore. It's just going to be there. We're just going to have item levels. But uh, yeah, that's just going to that's gonna change a whole lot of stuff in the game. But only really affecting players that aren't in Tier 3 yet. So if you don't have many characters or if you only got your one character in tier 3, all your newer characters now will get this reworked tier 1. So it's just going to have like a different item level gate for all the different things and making it all a lot easier and more smoother to get through. And let's see, they're extending new player buffs like the Makoko buff. They can enhance that and push it up further, probably until 1540. I don't quite read through all of that as it doesn't really interest me. Procons protection, again, just another buff for newer players. It's really good for you guys if you are newer players. We're getting new events, a Story Express event, Natuki Bang Bang that will be added to the Maraca Fest. We got the daily playtime event, reward for your playtime. This is pretty cool as it's going to reward you for playing more in the day. I think they said like a 90 minutes or something, you'll get like a, a reward or something like that. So that's an hour and a half. So I mean, technically they're trying to keep you in the game, but if you're playing Lost Ark, you're probably playing for at least an hour and a half, two hours a day anyway, doing all your events and Chaos Dungeons and then all your daily grind and everything. And we'll get the Golden Frog returning. So that's really good there. That will bring the price of engravings down. So you can go ahead and gear up your Slayer or your Aeromancer if you haven't done your Slayer. My Slayer is actually going to lose her 4x3 now because I haven't actually got accessories for her yet. And she is still on the, the previous Hyper Express help event thing which will be ending with the start of this one. 
so that's a little bit above him but good that i got golden frogs and i can go gear up my slayer we've got the new cosmetic skins aeromancer nearest wardrobe and the midnight summer ones from korea general quality of light changes quality of life we've got the warrior model being updated new sailing content card revamp extended wandering merchant sale period you can also view the wandering merchants on the map now from anywhere in the world and you can see what they're actually selling so that makes finishing out your card sets a lot easier and that whole card revamp is like a massive change to the card system so that's really good too got a bunch of stronghold changes fixed quests and made objectives more clear they've got unitas changes and a lot more this is just like the big ones that i could think of and put in there and then the class balance updates these are just like a quick little run through we'll get through them in the video as well so Slayer Punisher nerfed, Barrage has been nerfed, Summoner has been nerfed across the board. And then like I think it was like 2.9% or something. So almost 3% across the board. And then the Master Summoner did get nerfed on some of its summons. And then Sork Igniter nerf was only a 10% crit damage on the, the level 3 of Igniter. So they did get nerfed, but I mean not into the ground. They're still completely fine to play all of these. Just a slight nerf to bring them more in line with all the rest. And then Wardancer got in buff for first intent. The engraving itself got buffed. Soulfist is a complete rework and buff. I don't know much about them. Same with Glavia, massive rework. And Pinnacle's got a massive buff from it. I don't know much about either of these classes. Eso Striker got slightly buffed. Dead Eye got a massive rework as well, so buffed as well. Sharpshooter on the one, not the Swiftness one, the other one got buffed. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, Machinist got buffed as well across the board. And the spec damage scaling for the transformation machine has got buffed shadow hunter got buffed that was they actually got a pretty huge buff death blade got a small little buff across the board except for surge like all the skills got buffed except for surge itself so like every other skill got buffed but surge uh reaper buff as well across the board a little bit of things there for reaper so that is the summary it's probably let's go look it is actually been a few minutes seven minutes just on the summary so now let's actually get into the full notes as you can see, I'm jumping between my screens and everything. Also, side note, if you guys haven't tried Baldur's Gate 3 yet, it's amazing. You should totally try it. I have a video coming up soon about it as well, so stay tuned to the channel for that. So, we are the Storm release notes. Let's skim through it as we have covered most of the things that can't regenerate with a soft reset. Aramon's advanced class. We've got Sonneville. Super Makoko Express. We see there they don't really go too much in detail. Okay, it will be between 1415 and 1540. So it starts at 14.15. So once you're like a little bit into tier 3. I believe the new tier 3 entry level is like 12.50. It used to be 13.02 before. And then they say with all the, the Hyper Express 5 engravings on the engraving support. Uh, that's all good there. We spoke about that. Ends on 15th of November. Content updates to the Chaos Dungeon. So there they show you guys everything spawning faster. And that fate of, where is it? The fate thingy. I don't see it anyway. I think it's further down where the fate thing shows you all the, the embers of fate. Or what do we call it? Let's scroll up here. Yeah. Ember. Yeah, fate embers over there. There is the quality of improvement, spawning speed, movement speed, player tracking range. You also can't get stunned, I read somewhere. You can't get debuffed inside Chaos Dungeons. So, you know, like the, sometimes you get those blood dudes and they like stun you and you just be sitting there dying because like a million mobs hitting you. I believe that can't happen now. So, you can just go into Chaos Dungeons and blow everything up. And then Abyssal Dungeons, a few of these have been changed, but mainly because of the item level changes. So those are the main things, is the entry level points have been changed for all of them, and their rewards to give you the new, what are they calling it for the new tier of upgraded holding materials. Field bosses and collectibles have been changed a little bit over there. Upon defeating collectible items, points will be obtained at 100% rate. Okay, so the this random stuff that you would get from field bosses and collectibles things, like a giant's heart from a field boss or island soul or something like that is 100% guaranteed which is really nice because I mean these are on a timer already so you'd have to wait for the timer and then someone else could get there before you and kill it yeah, I've had that happen to me before when I was trying to do some what do you call that stuff adventure time thingy and yeah I'll be like running up to the boss someone kill it I don't get to hit it I don't get any reward and I just miss out and we're also moving down to evening cube that entry has been adjusted there obviously because the new entry point is 1250 that is the new tier 3 entry point so a little bit of things changed over there and then further down we got guardian raids really just changing the item levels for all of them some reward things as well we've got some potion xp potions will be added the dispatch missions all right categorized changes this is like how the the guardians will be categorized have been changed before they will be 
They used to be ray tiers 1 to 6. Now after that, there will be test tiers 1 to 6. And then purification tier as like the new storyline of us fighting the Guardians or something like that. I don't really keep track of the story. If it gives me loot, I kill it. That's all I know. And then we move on to progression adjustments. Max number of Guardian rates has been reduced to 1. So yeah, this is showing you the progression things over there. Fate Ember. There we go. Fate Ember special reward can be looted in Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids can be looted from killing monsters tier 3. Punica. Yes, yes, yes. You can only get them from tier 3. Seems the first Punica star level 1 and above. So I believe that will be the new 1250. As soon as you get into tier 3, you can start getting these Fate Embers. You get one of the following things from a silver gold. Epic card selection. Legendary card selection pack. Wow, that's massive. Legendary card pack. Menox term. So it's XP and holding material chests and they are bound upon loot material items blah, 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 blah. yes all right so that's pretty nice hopefully we get some of these uh these Adrian card selection packs i can finish off my alloys 30. i know i should have it by now but i don't because rng doesn't like me and i don't pay to win amount of the rewards granted scaling yeah okay so that's changed when fate ammo is dropped it will be marked on the map with an icon so you can't miss it they can't be looted by pets, and if you do miss it over there, they'll actually send it to your mail. So when Fate Ember is not looted during Chaos Dungeon or Guardian Raids, it will be auto-looted when leaving the area. It will be sent via mail if there's no room in the inventory. So if you miss one, don't worry, you will get them. You'll never lose them. Algic Infuse System. I believe this is the new... Oh, this is Sidereal stuff, so I'll just skip it completely. Unless you have a plus six Sidereal, then there's something for you, but I don't. I don't think I have a will. Ancient gear. This is all the ancient gear changes there from the you need to have the pre-Madonna So you need to have all the previous ancient gear from Phantom Legion Commander. Now you can get that quite easy, easily with the new changes So you should easily be able to start honing. The hardest thing now to actually get this new upper relic set is to actually achieve 1580 because you need to be 1580 to obviously get into a card Normal mode that's all of the changes. I'm not going to go over everything because this video is going to be like three hours long. I'll have this all in the description for you guys so you can go through and read it. We're just doing a little summary. Card revamp. There we go. This is massive. Extended the Wandering Merchant sale period. So it lasts longer. The Wandering Merchant appears in all channels and will appear in new channels created after their appearance. Every channel will disappear at the same time so you don't have to like wait for them and look for the other ones. Chaos Dungeons reward added players will now be able to get normal to epic cards by killing monsters in a Chaos Dungeon entered by using Aura of Resonance. Okay, that's good. So you can just get cards from doing Chaos Dungeons. That's actually a really massive. Give us cards from something we do already. So that, honestly, I, I skimmed that before and I didn't read it. That is insane. That's really great because you're just going to get normal to epic cards. And yeah, normal to epic, you won't get legendary, but that will help you build out some of the earlier sets for newer players progression and also give you card xp if you're an older player since your normal epic cards once you get them to 15 you just get card xp from them anyway so just good overall really great i like that progression ease update so this is just how they're really going to slam tier one and two into the same tier i'm not sure exactly basically just nerfing item levels bringing items up giving you some different stuff and blah 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 it's nice but i mean yeah it's cool it's gonna help newer players so I'm just skimming through it there because obviously we're not a newer player. But uh, yeah, it's really good for the newer players coming into the game. Just putting in tier 1 and 2 into 1. Tier 3 revamp due to the T2, T3 combat difficulties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. This is some strong old stuff. What do we got? Tier 3. The first phase of tier 3 will be updated from 1302, 1490 to 1250, 1490. So yeah, they're just uh, changing the entry level over there really for T3 players. So anybody in T3, like even early T3, so that's considered 1302 to 1490 is early T3. And then after that, well, yeah, after that would be mid T3 to high T3, I guess. But uh, yeah, you'd only be affected if you're really, really early on. Uh, craft ingredients change due to adjustment. Require level will be, yes, yes, yes. Skill tree will be added to Legion Raid Exchange. Okay, that's good for... Some skill tree amulets, engraving updates, engraving system unlock will be changed to level 50. Some engravings can be obtained and used before level 50. Again, that's interesting. Since all engravings can be used after unlocking the system, uncommon engraving recipe will be removed from the game. In-game conversation rewarding with those will be added. I have so many engravings lying around on all my characters, so hopefully they take them away and give me some other useful things, because I have too many. 
Makoko buff. So these are the Makoko buffs for the newer players. Like I was saying before, Procon's protection. It's just giving you some more stuff over there. You can see events, Story Express, level 1 to 1450. Story Express, I might even just put that on my, my Aeromancer and then leave it on her as well. Mahaka Festival, the Tuki Bang Bang is coming as well. So a new little festival. Daily playtime event. This looked pretty cool. So over there, daily accumulated playtime. To be eligible player, we'll need to have a character come a level 50 higher. And trust the status reward will be given at 50 minutes, 45, 60, 75, and 90 minutes of playtime. And include valuable items such as silver, honing materials, card packs, and more. I mean, this is really good on one side because most people that play Lost Ark will be playing for at least 90 minutes a day. Well, 90 minutes whenever they log in, so they won't be missing out. But then at the same time, people that aren't playing for that amount of time or that just play Lost Ark every now and then will feel, you know, FOMO. It's going to bring that FOMO fear into players, which I know you really shouldn't. Honestly, don't FOMO. Just play it at your own pace. If you miss out on something, oh well, just keep on going and play at your own pace. I have realized that now after taking a little break from Lost Ark. Really just play at your pace. Don't feel forced or FOMO yourself into things so you don't enjoy it. Just do what you want. Even if you miss out a little bit of materials, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's that's my little thought on there. Twinkle Tinkle, Golden Frog. We know that's coming back to store. Aeromonts and Nero Wardrobe. So there is the trailer. I won't be playing this right now. It's going to lengthen everything up. But overall, these skins I want. I want this one and I want this one. Give me now. I want both of those. In general quality of light. Horizontal, horizontal content quality of light added to your one ability stones. Yes, yes. Stronghold. There's a bunch of stronghold changes. I'm going to go over those. Quests have also, a lot of quests have been changed, I think just to make them a little bit easier for some of the more annoying ones. Una's tasks as well have been changed. There's a before, like Ed, once you get your roster to these certain points, you used to get more gold from Una's tasks, but now it's just changed, as you can see there, to correlate with the, the new item level, so to say, so the tier 3 one. And then these last three haven't changed at all, but the first couple have changed too show the new tier one and two so what do we just call it now the beginner tier we'll just call it the the, the in, intro tier yeah we'll call it that so intro tier has been changed and we got some more stuff there all about the daily tasks item adjustments making some adjustments to leap essence minor life energy stronghold action and all of this stuff adventure stone thingies i think it's going to just make them easier to get so more nerfs and stuff to make everything just easier to get overall uh, let's see, general daily login rewards, Punica Power Pass, Vibring Space will end the old one. So keep that in mind, if you had a Slayer or something, you need to actually get her an engraving now. Music box, secret dungeon, oh there it is. May changes so that use secret together map feature now is always set as a default option when entering a secret dungeon with a party. So there you go, you can always just join a party, click your map, you don't have to worry about clicking that little box every time. So that's really nice. Graphic customization. They've changed the warrior. They've updated the model of the warrior. So there's a couple of stuff there. Combat and class updates. Class updates and fixes. There's some class updates and fixes and things with bugs and stuff like that. Orc meter, recovery speed. There's a lot of stuff. Raid updates and fixes. So just some more bugs and stuff. Proving ground fixes. Skill effect improvements. Berserker. Their whirlwind skill and great will skill tree. All right. Sulfur's obviously to get a rework. Lavia got a rework. Dead Eye got a rework. They're all getting massive things there. And then Gunslinger Shotguns kind of got some more animation stuff added to them. So that's cool. Uh, didn't I see Machinist? No, I didn't see Machinist. Oh, there it was. Machinist change effect of Machinist reload icon. All right, so it's a little icon change. And the Shadow Hunt. And then the class balance updates. Like I said, we won't go into this because it's massive. But I did just show a little bit in my summary. So that is pretty much everything. I believe this is all the class stuff. Let's just scroll down. As you can see, this is a ton of stuff. So if you are looking for your class balance, go check out your specific classes to see what got nerfed and what didn't get nerfed. Okay, that is the end of that. And then controller support. Gamepad control types. Yes, yes, yes. So gamepad stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. It's probably like a really long one. Anyway, this is just meant to be a summary. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in some Lost Ark now for a little bit. We're going to go back into it a little bit and make ourselves an aeromancer so as you can see it's landed right there all calculated make yourself aeromancer so i'll see you guys here tomorrow thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one okay say now run free and dive into the sky hear the wind crying